Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new text substitutions feature in Snow Leopard. So text substitutions allow you to simply replace a few characters with many. So the way to get to text substitutions is to go to System Preferences and inside of System Preferences click on Language and Text. Once you're there, go to the Text tab at the top. Now you get a list on the left of all of the different text substitutions. You get what to replace with what to replace it with. So for instance some of the defaults are that a C surrounded with parentheses will be replaced with the copyright symbol. Now to go ahead and create your own you can go ahead and press the plus button at the bottom of the screen. Now just type in what you want to replace. So for instance I'm going to do capital MMN and I'm going to set it to replace that with MacMost space now like that. So now I've created my own substitution here. So here I am with a new text edit document. I'm going to type MMN. It doesn't work right away. I have to put some sort of white space like a space after it and it will immediately change to MacMost Now. So now if I'm typing a long document I just do MMN and I get MacMost Now every time I do that. So where does text substitutions work? Well it works in a lot of standard Mac applications like text edit, Safari, Mail, iChat, iMovie, iPhoto. It may work in a few other places as well. Where it won't work are third party applications right now and even some app applications like in the iWork applications which have their own text substitution feature. So here I am in Mail, a standard Apple application and I'm going to try to use text substitutions. I type in the body of the message MMN space and you can see nothing happens. This is because I haven't turned on text substitutions for this application. To do so you've got two choices. One is to look in the edit menu for substitutions and you can click on Show Substitutions. Now in a lot of applications show, uh, substitutions is not available in the Edit menu but you can bring it up by control clicking on an editable area like this and choosing Substitutions, Show Substitutions. And that's going to bring up this little control panel here. And here I can see I've got text replacement and it's turned off. If I turn it on now I'll find that I can do text substitutions inside of Mail. So MMN changes to MacMost now. And unfortunately I've got to do that for all sorts of different applications. And I have to do it for different areas as well. I can see that text substitutions is on for the compose area but if I click on the to field I can see it's off. I have to turn it on and now text substitutions will work in to fields. And it will work in the other fields here in the header as well but it won't work in the subject field. I have to turn it on. So it's worthwhile if you want to use text replacement to go into applications like Safari and click on different editable areas and turn on text replacement. For instance in Safari you have to turn it on for say filling out forms and also say for the search area at the top right of Safari. Each one has a different text replacement preference. While this may seem annoying at first it does allow you to customize where text replacement actually works. So here I am in Safari. I'm filling out a form and I want to do text substitutions and it's not working. So I'm going to control click in the editable area, choose substitutions, show substitutions and I can see that it is turned off for that type of text entry. I'm going to turn it on so now my forms will be able to use text replacement. And I can see when I type it works. But if I click on the search box I find out that text replacement is turned off. So I'm going to turn it on there and now I'm going to go and switch to the system preferences. You can do that by clicking on text preferences in this substitutions control panel. I'm going to do an unconventional type of substitution. MM colon is going to stand for site colon macmost.com which is a Google substitution that will tell me, uh, tell Google that it should only search macmost.com. I find you have to actually click off of the area for it to take effect. I go back to Safari. I type MM colon and I find that it replaces it instantly with that. So instead of having to type that whole thing every time I just want to search Mac most I can go ahead and just do MM colon now and it will type it for me. So a couple of things I've noticed about text substitutions. If I create one that's all lowercase, like HW stands for Hello World and I go and I type it, it works like that. If I type it in uppercase, capital H, capital W, it will replace it and capitalize the entire thing. Now text substitutions is smart enough to understand that if you type HW inside of a word it's not going to substitute hello world for it only if it's a complete word by itself. 
but still you may want to use some unusual character combinations. For instance I've set QQ1 to be HTTP colon slash slash MacMost.com. So if I type it here of course I'm going to get that with a space after it. But fortunately a slash works just as well as a space. So I can type QQ1 slash and it will replace it with MacMost.com and then continue with the slash and now I can go ahead and type something else after it. Now what if you want to do longer substitutions? Well you can but it's really hard to type in there. So the best thing to do is to actually have the text say like this inside of TextEdit, copy it, then go ahead and create the text substitution by pasting the text in there. And now I've created a multi-line text substitution. So I can go ahead and type QQ2 and it replaces the entire thing with what I put in there. So you can type things like say the closing part of a letter or the opening part of a letter or paragraphs that you often add into your emails. So the most important thing to remember about text substitutions is that they don't work for all applications. At least not yet. Now that it's built into the system probably more apps will start to use them including more Apple apps and third party apps. Also remember that if it's not working try control clicking looking for the substitutions submenu and turning it on and you may have to turn it on multiple times in an application for multiple types of text input like the search field and form fields in Safari or the compose box and the subject box for mail. So that's a quick look at the new text substitutions feature inside of Snow Leopard. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.